Yes, my fellow geeks, there it is. Green Giant, Maki Toys Green Giant. Um, tell you the truth, this thing is really sturdy. I love the whole aspect of the ratchets that lock in. And the only way you're going to be able to get them out is if you spin it around. And there is a button here. And I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to bring it up just a little. But there is a button here, this gray button. And then there is one right back there. And that releases these two arms. So you can then, you know, do what you need to do. But I like that it locks. And the one thing that I like also like about this thing is it is sturdy. Nothing's going to fall off of it. The only issue that I saw with falling pieces falling off is the crest. Um, there's not really a heavy hook or uh, a heavy uh, connector for it but you know what can you do um, anyway with what we what I've seen about um, the other which is the um, Hercules um, I wasn't you know like I said I am not going to spend that kind of money on something if it doesn't have metal and uh, this doesn't have metal, but it's a good toy. Um, it is one hell of a good toy. Uh, the details, everything. And I just really didn't like the color, but hey, everybody's different. You like what you like. I like what I like. And uh, he's just, I like him. I think he's cool. I think Hercules stands up to about this height, if I'm not mistaken, or down a little bit more. He's like only about an inch higher than, than uh, the Green Giant. Uh, but as you can see, all the guns combined, there's four gun, uh, four, two, four, six. There's six guns, and they all combine into this big, huge motherfucker. Um, so yeah, otherwise than that, I mean, the articulation for this guy, um, he has a ball joint on both ankles, uh, both bended at knee, and nice ratchet, cra uh, ratchet, same with the le uh, upper thighs and the legs. Uh, nice ratchet on that. And he has a... Woo! Did I just... Yeah, I just did it. And see? I just popped them. <laughs> oh, get in there. There we go. Um, he has a waist movement. And what else does he have? He has... Is crest missing because that's the only thing there's like there's only and let me see where is the flashlight so I can show you guys because I know my light sucks I'm trying to get better with that you can see there's like a in, uh, little indentation going across here I don't know if you can see it but um yeah you see it now but there's a little indentation in here and that hooks into this um, and then these two pegs peg in here and here so I mean that's the only areas that you have holding this thing but you can see it just clicks in and then you push them in and I mean once you knock it that's kind of it you're gonna lose it so anyway getting back to what I was saying uh, we have a waist so you can spin the waist around um, arms rotate at the uh, bicep wrist wrist turns, fingers all articulated, they, but they kind of stay like this, but each one has a little articulation, and the thumb is on a ball joint, so um, shoulders go up and down, but you know, as I said with this, um, head is on a ball joint, and you can, ah, uh, let me take it off, and I will show you what the hell this thing does. Okay, so um, you actually get two heads. You get this head, and you get this head. All right. Differences. One has a uh, visor. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is an original, or they were trying to go for the cartoon. Um, this one actually has a mouth that opens. And whoa, where'd your head go? Disappeared. And this also has 
the visors that come down. Um, some people complained about it, but if you put it on just right, not a problem, you know. Um, so, yeah, as I said, really cool little addition right there, but there's more. Ah, put that back on, all right. So, everybody complains about this, and, you know, he's not that big, but let's imagine you bought the Hercules. Here's something that this does. Yep. So now you can put that up to the shelf without this big huge thing sticking outward. Um, which I thought was a really nice touch. Other thing you can do. Now, if you take this off, you take the crane off, and take his gun. Give me that gun. You don't want to let go of it. Ah. If you take the gun and remove this, there is a way that you can make this into a battle axe. And I'll show you in one second. And as you can see, that's the battle axe. So, you get an extra weapon out of this whole thing because, I mean, they did do some light redesign and they tried to fix some of the problems that um, the original had. I only think you can get this with the gift set. So if you buy the gift set with, you know, this is where you'll get it. Um, the other thing was that I want to show, and I'll wait. Um, let me move him real quick. It comes with this, so if you want to display it with him, all you have to do is push this out. Oh, and if you do buy it, this cutout square, I didn't even know this. I couldn't find the instructions. This is where the instructions are. So... <laughs> Don't be, don't be stupid like me and totally miss that. But yeah, you can actually pull this out and you can put this in, you know, your display case and have him sitting in it, uh, which is, it's really nice. Um, yeah, just get a nicer look right there. But yes, that's what you get extra. And this is the box so you can keep all the stuff in You'll still be able to put all the plastic and everything in there, but this is the other thing that they give you. So, my final thought is if you're really wanting the Hercules and you want to spend that type of money, go for it. For some reason, just the colors that they picked just made it look cheapy looking. That was my personal opinion. It does look like an awesome figure, but I wanted to go more aesthetic for the G1 look. And this is basically like taking all the technology that we have now with toy making and just taking it back to the 80s and that's probably what we would have got this thing is awesome I like it I love the box set that or the gift set because of the simple reason that you got some fixes and an extra weapon now I'm not done yet there's one more thing that I noticed and I wanted to show everybody it so I'm gonna jump over here but you get two of these, and they go on the back. All right. Now, I don't know if this is going to focus that good, but these go on the back, and they're kind of like just big pistons. Well, I didn't know what the heck they were for. It's a screwdriver. You get a flathead, and you get a Phillips head. So then you can put it in Devastator's hand and he could fix something or disassemble it. Which I thought was really funny. Now I don't know if this was just a hidden trick or if this was in one of the sets. I don't know. But I've never seen anything like this and it's the first time I've ever seen it. So I thought it was really funny and I thought it was pretty neat that they, they uh, added this. So good for Malachi toys. Um, so anyway, in closing... I do enjoy this figure, and I think it is just perfect size. As I said, go to your favorite toy store, go to BBTS, go to wherever you want to go, and get this sucker. Um, because I think it's totally awesome. I just personally do not see paying $5.99 for something just a little bit bigger than this. And if I'm not mistaken, Hercules is only about an inch, inch and a half bigger than the giant type 61 so 
This has been Japanophile Rob. I hope you all take care of yourselves. Hit that like button down there. Hit that subscribe up there. And uh, take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.